my name is uh, Lelo. I'm from Tanzania. I'm uh, 28 years old. Uh, I work mostly as an ecologist, but I, I cycle a lot. I've been cycling for four, uh, for four years. So I remember that when I was a boy, I only see bicycle maybe once a year. It was something um, we don't see every day. So we made a wooden bicycles. And I remember that uh, because you don't have much time as a boy, you have a lot of responsibility also taking care of the cow, taking care of goat and so forth. So we made a wooden bicycle. And this wooden bicycle didn't have a pedal. You pull it up the hill and then you just go down the hill, jump on it, and it will crash and you have to fix it again. So that was my, begin my, my first story of the, of the bicycle. In the age of 17 years or so, I went to Dar es Salaam and there is where I started learning to, to ride a bicycle, which was very, not very easy. You're learning to ride a bicycle when you're 17 years old. So I had a lot of scars uh, caused from the bicycle. And then when I was uh, 24 years old is when I bought my own bicycle. Soon after I bought my bicycle is when I started to travel with the bicycle. Um, and from there on, when I was 24 years old, I started traveling around Tanzania. So I find it's like something to motivate others also to engage in some kind of activities. And uh, so that was my beginning of, of cycling. My first trip was a visitation. Uh, it was to see my grandmother from here in Arusha. So I wanted to go to the footage of Kilimanjaro, which is 150 kilometers, uh, which is including a lot of climbing. That was very naive because I've never traveled more than 20 kilometers before the bicycle. So this is 150 kilometers and I wanted to do it one, in one day. Uh, I should, uh, honestly, the experience was very horrible. Uh, my butt was in a deep pain, my leg everywhere. So I could not imagine that I will ever again travel to bicycle. Uh, after a week, it's kind of I went through that experience of traveling with the, with the bicycle, and I had the feelings that how people they cheer, they cheer me on the way. The core part of it was also the experience was very was very strong. The exposure, we were free, like going downhill, feeling the wind gushing, the gushing in our faces, and we scream. It's like feeling you are young, like the freedom on the bicycle. Uh, together, all this experience combined together is which give me the reason to go back and use the bicycle. Uh, and uh, so, my second trip will be uh, to travel in Africa. Basically, I would say it's a lifetime experience, and um, I, I was in total four years of traveling, and uh, that's it's um, pretty much included all the African countries. Uh, I mean, from Tanzania, all the Southern African countries, yeah, Malawi, Zambia, uh, Botswana, Namibia, Angola, South Africa, Lesotho, Swaziland, um, and then the northern, like from Kenya, Uganda, Burundi, Rwanda, Congo, Sudan, Ethiopia. Uh, and then the Western countries, West Africa. Uh, but then uh, across Latin America is from Argentina, um, Argentina, Chile, uh, Bolivia, um, uh, Brazil, part of Venezuela, um, and then um, across to North America, to Mexico, United States, and part of Canada. And then in Europe, uh, is uh, pretty much from North uh, and mostly in the Western Europe. So Norway, Sweden, uh, Denmark, then, uh, German, Belgium, Holland, uh, United Kingdom, France, uh, Spain, uh, Portugal, and then yeah, across, to, across to Morocco. Uh, it's um, it's uh, it's very it's very contradicting contradict situation when I think about which country in uh, I was I was uh, quite comfortable as an African traveler. Traveling with a bicycle is not something which is is common here in Tanzania. We, you see a lot of bicycle in, in, in the streets, but the people they use bicycle to carry to carry their things. People they use bicycle maybe from one village to another. But now I was loaded with uh, four bags and the, everything in the bicycle. Uh, that was uh, even when I was start traveling to Tanzania, people they were starting referring to me as a Zungu. The children they would be shouting at me, like calling, addressing me as a foreigner. But when I was out of Tanzania, that was more. Sometimes become very strong. Uh, some of the people they wonder, like, were you born in Tanzania? Yes. But why do you have to cycle? Yeah. 
you don't have a farm to like to use your energy in your farm, in your farm, like your field, because that are the kind of things people that do, like a practical way to farm. If you have excessive energy, you go to the field and, and cultivate more maize. But when it's combined, when it's uh, when it's come to the case that uh, thinking of traveling around the world, uh, somehow in Africa I feel confidence because. Uh, I, I could understand the way people they think and I could uh, assimilate myself with the, with the people. Um, when it's coming travel in another country, there was some difficulty, especially when, for example, when I landed in Buenos Aires. It was my, uh, my big, uh, the, the time when I was exposed to the uh, total different culture and also only black man around. And uh, after a while, I kind of noticed because people, they were paying more attention to me. They were like looking at me. Yeah, some come and want to take pictures. And um, after two weeks, it was like a, I was kind of fatigued because there was too much attention, uh, attention to me. Uh, and the, yeah, I came across some cases of uh, strong confrontation with the racial issues. I kind of understand it's psychological. People who doesn't have another exposure, they've never met another African probably. Uh, they doesn't know what to do uh, sometimes. So I kind of understand it. Visa was a, was a, was pretty much a, a big challenge. It's more frustrating when you come to the embassy of Peru, and they will be like, uh, "Yeah, I showed up, and they, yeah, you have to explain this in Spanish, of course." And you say, "Yeah, I'm from Tanzania. I'm asking for a visa." Well, yeah, how is Tasmania? That's this kind of greeting. Tasmania. Uh, well, yeah, what is Tasmania? Say, oh, los demos de Tasmania. Okay. Me, I've never seen this movie called Los Demos de Tasmania. <laughs> so for the first time I'm learning that there is a movie called Los Demos de Tasmania. And I say, no, I'm not from Tasmania. I'm from Tanzania. Tanzania? Tasmania? No. Taiwan? No. And they look around the bicycle and me, oh, Americano, Americano. No, Tanzania, Africa. No, oh, Africano. So you go back to your capital, South Africa, for them, South Africa is the capital of Africa. Africa is one country, and there you get tickets. You get a, you get a visa. So that was frustrating. Like trying every time when uh, find out that you know about the country, these countries, and these them they doesn't have a clue what is Tanzania. Yes, I love cycling. 